Hi everybody, Mrs. Cece here. This week several of the classes are doing insect units or bug units and we are reading different books. Eric Carl has a whole series um, on different bugs. There's the very grouchy ladybug, we have the very busy spider, but today I'm going to read the very clumsy click beetle. Um, again, this is by Eric Carl and Penguin Books is the publisher and they're letting us read books to children while we're not able to be in class. So this is a click beetle. Click beetle is a little bug and he makes a sound and when he does that he flies through the air and flips over. But this click beetle is trying to learn how to do it the right and use that great skill that he has. Let's see what happens. One fine morning a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. At noon, he climbed up and down a beautiful flower. In the afternoon, he climbed through a pile of pebbles. In the evening, he crawled among the tall blades of grass. When it turned night, the young click beetle crept up into a tree. After a while, he got so tired, but he fell to the ground. The young click beetle landed on its back. He tried very hard to get on his feet, but he couldn't. Help, he cried, help, help. All along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning, I will show you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet. The wise old click beetle said, in the meantime, you might as well go to sleep. Good night. The young click beetle went to sleep. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, look at me, this is how it's done. First, it turned on its back, and then with a loud he flew through the air and landed right on his feet. Now, you try, said the wise old click beetle. The young click beetle said, that looks easy. Just then, an earthworm poked his head through out of the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle, and with a loud, he flew through the air and landed on his back. Oh, how very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep on trying. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud, he flew through the air and landed on his back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. And just then, a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a, he flew through the air and landed on his back. How very clumsy of me, said the little click beetle. Just then, a mouse scurried by. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Well, look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud, he again flew through the air and landed on his back. Oh no, just then, oh no, what is this? What are those big huge feet? They had never seen anything so big. It could not move. The click beetle was so scared. Quick, quick, flip, cried the old wise old click beetle who was watching the whole thing. Look, the boy came, he was looking at the click beetle. And the young click beetle flipped through the air. And this time he did three rollovers, three flips, flew through the air and landed on his feet. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. The end. So he had to try and try till he learned how to fly through the air and land on his feet. 
Now, just something interesting about the click beetle. He hides from other animals that might want to eat him because the two spots on his back look like eyes and make him look huge. They're actually camouflage and are not his real eyes. His eyes are very small and in the front of his right here, but he camouflages himself to protect him. So he can flip, he's camouflaged. This beetle is very interesting. The very clumsy click beetle. So hope you enjoyed the book. It was great to see you all. Thank you. Bye.